I just thought I'd jot down um, <clears throat> these um, these thoughts on the different circuits so that when you're on the roof, you'll be able to work out what's what. Uh, so this is the back of the bus. This is the front of the bus. Uh, you'll see when you get up there that there are uh, how many eight panels in all in total. The big one uh, is on a circuit by itself, and that is the air circuit. Okay, the big panel. Then the, near that, towards the back of the bus, there are four 100 watt panels. And these are in what we call series parallel. So two of them are uh, connected in series, and then those two groups go to a parallel circuit. Why we do it like that is because these panels are only 20 volts each. So when you do a series, you add the voltages. So these are still running at 40 volts. Uh, this one is about 39 volts open circuit. Uh, and then the last circuit <coughs> at the front is what I'm calling the B circuit. So it's the middle controller of, of those. Uh, and this consists of 200, two 100 watt panels and one 150 watt. And these are in uh, series again. So they're all connected together. So this circuit is about 60 volts. Um, you're trying to get these different panels to get similar kind of voltages. Um, so uh, if you, if you may, you know, you may all know what what I've what I've done there. Um, just thought I'd jot, jot that down because it's a lot easier rather than to try and reverse engineer what someone's done if if you've got an idea already. Okay. Um, oh, just one last thing. Uh, these uh, con solar controllers work really well uh, with this system, but because they are digital, uh, they can sometimes have a blip, especially if you've been, um, say, switching circuits or you've been turning breakers off. If uh, you'll, you'll soon know um, if you're not getting um, power, uh, uh, power from the panels, because you'll see, if you can see on this one here, let me just press it, there's a little arrow with a panel going into the battery. So we're on circuit C at the moment. So I can see that at the moment, circuit C is kicking 20, uh, 19 amps almost into the battery. Okay. Now, sometimes, like I said, when these have a blip, uh, say you've been doing something, uh, switching over, and then you notice that maybe this isn't, uh, you haven't got an arrow here. Uh, then the best thing to do is to turn them all off uh, and just turn them all back on. Uh, and how you do that, like I said, you would go to the breakers here. You would press the, press the button in the middle of the breakers. Okay. That opens up the that opens up the fuse. Okay. Um, so you you. Press all these three buttons, then you come back down here, you'd press the three uh, circuit breakers on the actual um, solar controllers, just leave it 10 seconds or so, and then you would then connect these back up. So um, if I was going to break this one, uh, I would press the button here and then it pops out here and you just you just press it back in there. So I would connect these back up. I'd probably do it one at a time just to, um, I found that's, that's best with these controllers, just to let them figure. So I would close that one. I'd go back up to the top here. Close the top one, okay, by pressing it. I'd probably come back here uh, and then check on circuit A, because that's circuit A that we're looking at in the corner. I check on circuit A and just make sure I've got that arrow and that will tell me that I'm actually getting power from the roof. Okay, and then I do it with the circuit B, close it there, go up there to the cupboard, close that one, change it to B here uh, and then check I've got that way. And that way you can, uh, you can easily identify if you know um, either the solar controllers had a blip because what they're doing all these controllers are working in uh, tandem working in harmony 
to get the maximum it can out of the panels into the battery at the right voltage. Now, like I said, they're, they're pretty good. If you don't alter anything, if you don't touch anything, um, then uh, it's, a, it's you know it just works as as it's meant to work. Um, but if you do start switching things over, they can have a bit a bit of a blip, and then you might have to reset them. Okay, I thought I'd just do that, then then it tells you about that.